Email marketing has never been more relevant. Nowadays, people spend so much time in front of their devices, more than ever before. So you have to make sure that your newsletters and campaigns stand out, are designed well, and that the message you send to your subscribers counts. But how to start with email marketing, you ask? Let me show you. In this tutorial, I'll demonstrate how to design and send a campaign or a newsletter. In your dashboard, you can either click the Campaign tab or click on the Create Campaign button. Give your campaign a name. I'll call mine Photo Exhibit. And the subject line is what your subscribers see in their inbox, so make sure it's an accurate subject line. In this tutorial, I'm going to promote a fine arts photography exhibition, so let's call my campaign My First Gallery Exhibit. The rest of the fields here are automatically filled with your information. Click Next. Here, I'm going to show you how to use the drag and drop and the rich text features, starting with drag and drop. This is the default template of the drag and drop feature, and I want to modify it. First, let's get rid of all the blocks that I don't need for this campaign. Click on the edit icon, and then remove any content that doesn't fit your campaign. In the left bar, I can either use the drop-down menu to see the different blocks that can be added to the newsletter, or type keywords in the search field to find a specific block. I'm definitely going to add a gallery, and maybe a social media block. I'm going to change the paddings here because it feels like it could use a little bit more space between the elements, and I think this will do for now. Now let's modify these blocks. I want to upload a logo here. Click on the logo in the editing bar. And here you can import images from a URL, Google Drive, Giphy, or Unsplash, which is a royalty-free photography website. But I prepared a folder with all of the required files in advance, and I'm going to upload it to the file manager. I'll select the logo and upload it instead of the placeholder. You can resize it by dragging the bottom right corner. I'll add my best photos to the gallery. I really want to show off my work here because my goal is to get people to come out and see my photography in person. And my best photos will attract the best crowd. To modify the text, click on the edit icon and change the text in the editor. Don't forget to always be conversational in your copy. People like to be talked to, not to be talked at. So be friendly, write them in the same way you'd like to be talked to, use keywords, brief descriptions, and don't forget your call to actions. Let's add a Facebook post here because there will be a live broadcast of the exhibit on Facebook for followers who couldn't make it to the gallery. Click on the footer to modify it. You can change the text here. Add your social media links here. And always make sure that the unsubscribe button is clear and visible so subscribers can easily find it and unsubscribe if they wish to do so. Lastly, I'm going to change some of the styling. Fonts, sizing, background colors. You can change these up to match your branding. Now, you can modify the global settings here. For example, if I want all of the titles to be a certain font and a certain size, I'll change it here. And if I want the same background color for all of the blocks, I'll change it here. You can also change the settings for each block separately. Just click on the block, go to setting, and change the styling. So this is my newsletter, and if you want, you can review the edit history of this document right here. If you need to track back some of the steps and reverse the design, just click on that step. Don't forget to save. Now, before we continue, let me go back quickly to show you the rich text editor. 
This feature is great if you want to copy text from an existing document and paste it into the rich text editor. This editor will retain existing hyperlinks and you can easily change the formatting in the same way that you will do in other document applications. You can drag and drop the blocks, add media, social media, and other design elements. Modify and populate your design in the same exact way I demonstrated in the drag and drop feature. When you're done creating, you can save this design as a template and use it later on for your next campaign. You can preview the newsletter here, and this is how it looks in the browser. And you can copy the URL here and either share it on your social media platforms or send it directly to your mom if she's not subscribed to your newsletter. Lastly, if you want to see how your subscribers actually see the newsletter in their inbox, send a test email to yourself. Once you click Done Editing, you'll be directed to the recipient page. And here you can choose who to send this campaign to. I'm going to keep it simple and I'll be sending it to all of my subscribers, but you can be more specific and send it to a group or a segment. Click Review and Confirm. Here's your last chance to edit the newsletter and review it one more time. You can use the menu at the right top or scroll down through the categories. Next, we're going to either schedule the campaign or send it right away. If you want to schedule it, the process is straightforward. Simply input the date and time. If you have a premium account, you'll be able to schedule it for the different time zones. So say you have subscribers from different continents, but you want all of them to receive this campaign at 12 noon at their time zone. You can specify this in this field. Just make sure to do this at least 24 hours before the delivery time. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'll be scheduling this campaign for later. I'll check the Google Analytics box because my website is connected to Google Analytics. If your site is not connected to Google Analytics, I highly recommend you to do that, but do not check this box if you are not using Google Analytics. All right, my campaign will be sent in a couple of hours. It's currently in the Outbox folder. Once it's sent, it will be added to the Sent folder, and if I choose to cancel it, it will go straight into my drafts. Thanks for watching. Make sure to click the bell button below so you don't miss any new tutorials. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and subscribe to our newsletter. The link is in the description section below. Have an awesome day or night, and I'll see you in the next video.